All right, what's up guys? I've got another video for you today. And in this video, uh, I'm gonna be following up my video that I uploaded uh, a couple days ago that was titled, I'm starting to understand the hype behind Linux, where I was talking about how I started to use Ubuntu Linux uh, and all, you know, all these issues that I was running into with Windows were non-existent or not happening on Ubuntu. And uh, well, you might notice that my desktop environment has changed uh, yet again. But before I get into that, I do want to I do want to give you a forewarning. Uh, I am feeling kind of sick today. I think I'm getting the uh, you know the holidays. It gets cold. Starting to have a little bit of a scratchy throat. Uh, starting to have to you know runny nose, all that fun stuff. So if there's some weird audio in the video, I'll try to eliminate it. But uh, I want to apologize up front um, for that. Uh, but anyways, let's let's jump into the video. So you may notice my desktop environment is different. Yet again, it is is does it's not Windows, it's not Ubuntu. I am now using uh, Bazite, which is a Linux uh, distribution that is centered primarily around gaming. And it's funny because the last video I uploaded a couple days ago, well, number one, it got a lot more traction than I had anticipated, which tells me that uh, the transition to Linux and people not enjoying the Windows experience is definitely growing. Not only that, but after I made that video, I got a bunch of video suggestions of fresh uploads day after day that were getting thousands of views where people were talking about using Linux based operating systems or how they're they're done using Windows. Uh, so I can really see probably for the first time since I've uh, been messing around with computers that Linux is really gaining some traction. I think it's because the Linux gaming environment has gotten so much better. I think we really need to to uh, credit Steam. Uh, or Valve, really, Valve and, and Steam for, uh, and, and the Steam Deck for um, kind of helping facilitate the, the transition we're seeing now because they've, they've been a big part of making games, uh, the development for making games and the push for making games function on Linux. And that's really been one of the big things or function well on Linux, rather. And that's been one of the big barriers for people switching over to Linux. The only other barrier besides that, for the most part, is just, uh, well, there's two, maybe lack of familiarity with the, the way the operating system is set up and functions. Um, and then, you know, just some specific hardware or sorry, specific software that uh, doesn't, that hasn't historically functioned well on Linux. Uh, and that's also definitely getting better. Um, but anyways, I have now switched over to Bazite. I've had Bazite installed for three or four days and uh, I've really been enjoying it. I found that all the things that were functioning well with Ubuntu that weren't functioning well in Windows are still present in Bazite, but the setup for Bazite was uh, even easier. And I'm, I, I wanna jump into that and show why. So uh, we're gonna go to the Bazite uh, website, go to their download page. Now with Ubuntu, the reason why I jumped to Ubuntu first is I kind of just Googled, I need a Linux distribution that's going to work well with Secure Boot enabled because I need that enabled for some of the, I think some of the games I actually like to play on Windows. I think that's why I have it enabled in Windows. Uh, so I wanted to keep that enabled. So when I boot into Windows, it's a non-issue when running those games that seemingly require Secure Boot. Um, and then um, I uh, have an NVIDIA GPU. And when I looked looked it up, there was resources on how to get NVIDIA drivers functioning well in Ubuntu, how to jump through some hoops to do so, um, and then work well with a dual boot setup. And Ubuntu is just what popped up when I did my initial research. Well, what I found with Bazite is it's even more seamless. And that's because if you go up in this upper right-hand corner to download Bazite, it takes you to the part of the page where you are going to download the ISO. Bazite actually asks you, hey, what kind of system do you have? Do you have a desktop? Do you have a laptop? Do you have a handheld? And you can basically select what you have and then it asks you additional questions. So I, I have a desktop, a custom built desktop computer. This part is where I think it's kind of game changing for a, a Linux OS is it says, hey, what kind of GPU do you have? And it lists along the top is probably what you'll see. You know, it, it says modern GPUs more commonly now is either the AMD, the current AMD cards, the current NVIDIA cards like the RTX series and the, the 1600 series GTXs and then the Intel ARC cards. And it does this because it actually gives you an ISO that has those drivers pre-installed and ready to go after you've, uh, or, or pre-set up and, and ready to go after you install the operating system. Um, and then not only that, but it also lets you pick whether you wanna have a KDE or GNOME desktop environment. 
I decided to choose KDE because I know Ubuntu is GNOME based. I wanted to give KDE a try. I've really enjoyed it so far. And then this is also really cool. I opted to say, no, I want a traditional desktop experience. But if you've got like a, a handheld or you've got a maybe a, a gaming computer in your living room that you want to just jump directly into Steam gaming mode, you can actually, uh, well, I didn't choose it there, but you can actually say, hey, I want to download an ISO uh, that when I install it, it loads directly into Steam gaming, which I think might be big, big picture mode. Um, but that way, if your primary or, or really only real focus is to, to play games, um, you don't even have to go into the desktop environment, launch Steam, all that good stuff. It just sets it up to where it launches the environment for you. And I think you're ready to just use a controller or a controller um, layout, like if you have a handheld, to launch your game and just jump right into it. But really what the game changer was for me when I, uh, and I found this because, like I said, after I uploaded my last video, I got a lot of recommendations for other uh I'm switching to Linux videos basically. And one was highlighting Bazite and talked about how you get to choose your primary GPU. And the reason why this is so awesome to me is because when I did do Ubuntu, I had to jump through some hoops. I had to find some articles online that explained how to uh, install the drivers and get them to function. With this, that's a non-issue. You just say, hey, I have this GPU, download, install, uh, you know, install the operating system and it's ready to go. And that's exactly what happened when I installed Bazite is Got it all set up, got it installed, which was also a pretty seamless experience. Uh, I would argue maybe even easier than Ubuntu's, which was surprising to me. Um, and then when it's all done, you're just ready to go. You've already got the drivers you need. <clears throat> and what was also appealing to Bazite to me is that as much as I have enjoyed messing around with computers and kind of tweaking things and, and all that good stuff since I've been doing it since I was 12, uh, 12 or 13, um, what I'm really looking for is a Linux, uh, an operating system that I can download and install and then make some, maybe some graphical changes that I want, but I don't want to mess with performance. I don't want to mess with having to install a bunch of stuff. And Bazite is set up in a way to where once you get it installed, it's pretty much ready to go. And all you really have to do is do software updates occasionally. Um, and it will do the updates for you. And I guess it has a reputation for being very stable and these updates not causing a whole lot of issues knock on wood. And that's exactly what I'm looking for and probably exactly what most people that are in a similar dilemma to me are looking for. We don't necessarily, we're, we're starting to have issues with Windows. We want an alternative. But we don't necessarily want to have to jump through all these hoops to get that alternative set up. We just want something that works. And so far from what I've seen, that's what Bazite achieves. Bazite's primary focus is to give you a Linux-based operating system centered around gaming functionality. And that's exactly what being able to do these sorts of things where you select what video card you have and what kind of gaming mode or gaming environment uh, you want uh, does. <clears throat> and so I thought that was great. And so now I've been running Bazite and uh, yeah, it's just been great. Uh, I enjoy the KDE desktop environment, being able to utilize that instead of GNOME. Um, I uh, all the same programs I was able to install, download and install on uh, Ubuntu function. Uh, they have, instead of the software, I think it's called the software store on Ubuntu or the software center on Ubuntu, they have what's called a bazaar and it's effectively the same thing. You can download flat packs through here. Uh, I don't know why my cursor got so big, but you can download flat packs through here. Uh, so like that's how I downloaded and installed Discord. Um, that's how I downloaded and installed Romina for remote desktop, Telegram. Uh, Steam, all that was, it, I was able to download and install through here. So I didn't even have to go through the terminal, <clears throat> which I have been able to navigate for the most part. But for most people, I think they will appreciate being able to just jump right into a, a software store and download what they want to work. And that's also how I got OBS, which I'm recording with. And uh, so far, everything that I've downloaded and installed is functioning without issue. Uh, my system resources are relatively low, just like they were with Ubuntu. Um, the situation with, uh, how I was having a bunch of issues with Bluetooth connections and windows, still a non-issue in Bazite functioning just as well as it did in Ubuntu. Uh, the secondary monitor, not having issues, same thing in Bazite, having all kinds of weird issues in windows, no issues in Ubuntu or Bazite. Um, so I guess what I'm really saying is that I jumped over to Bazite and so far it's proven to be an even better experience, especially on the initial install. Uh, and I jumped right into it. I said, hey, I'm just going to, you know, I, I can get my, I, I'm set up in a way to where I can get things that I need set up really quickly. 
And uh, um, so I just wiped my Ubuntu install and installed Bazite over it. Didn't really need to back anything up because I kind of already have what I need backed up and was able to get my Bazite set up the way that I needed it to with all my bookmarks and passwords and all that fun stuff. Uh, pretty much right away. No, no crazy um, issues there. So, yeah, um, I think what I'm really what I'm really getting out here is number one, the people that commented that oh, Ubuntu is probably just a starting point. You weren't wrong. I've already jumped to another another Linux uh, operating system, and, and again, I just want to highlight for people that are maybe looking at making the switch another uh, option. Um, and I think. Like I said, for most people, if the, the barrier is gaming, Bazite really does a great job at um, resolving that. And if you don't want to have to deal with a bunch of um, setup and, and jumping through a bunch of hoops to get things working the way you want it, you just want to install it and have it ready to go. Uh, definitely check out Bazite. Bazite, you know, if you know, you figure out what video cards you have, if you don't already know, you know, decide what desktop environment you want. Decide if you want to go straight into gaming mode or if you want to have a traditional desktop experience and launch Steam. And uh yeah, mess around with it. I, I definitely recommend it. I'll probably do another follow-up video um, either within the next couple of weeks or months, maybe sooner, depending on if something else comes to mind. Uh, but yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, the format of my videos really is just, I just start recording and start talking. Um, so if something comes to mind, I'll upload another video. But if not, expect another video from me in the next couple of weeks or months. Kind of following up on, hey, did I switch to another Linux-based operating system? Am I, am I still sticking with Bazite? And what's my experience as I've continued to mess with it? I plan to download and install more games, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you were able to stand through the format, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.